Have you ever wondered about the origins of civilization and the first great cities that challenged God's will? Let's begin our journey with Nimrod and the rise of Babylon. As we delve into the annals of biblical history, we encounter Nimrod, a pivotal figure in the establishment of Babylon. His narrative is primarily housed within the book of Genesis, where we discover his reputation as a mighty hunter before the Lord. But Nimrod's hunting prowess was not merely a sport or a hobby. It was a testament to his leadership and strength, a beacon of protection and provision in a world still reeling from the aftermath of the Great Flood. Nimrod's might extended beyond the hunt. He was a visionary, an ambitious city builder who is often credited with the foundation of civilization itself, his first masterpiece, the city of Babylon. But Nimrod's ambition didn't stop at Babylon's borders. He also established other key cities in ancient history like Erech, Akkad, and Kalne in the land of Shinar, that later became the heart of the ancient kingdom of Babylon. These cities, designed and built under Nimrod's watchful eye, bloomed into great empires with Akkad emerging as a major center of early civilization. Not content with his accomplishments in Shinar, Nimrod expanded his influence to Assyria, where he built Nineveh and Resin, cities that featured prominently in biblical narratives. To build a city, one requires more than bricks and mortar. It demands vision, leadership, and an unwavering ambition. Nimrod, the mighty hunter, had these in spades. He left an indelible mark on the earth and then turned his gaze skyward, setting the stage for a tale of ambition, pride, and defiance against God's will. Nimrod, a mighty hunter and ambitious city builder, laid the foundation for the rise of Babylon, setting the stage for a tale of ambition, pride, and defiance against God's will. From Nimrod's foundations rose Nebuchadnezzar, a king who took Babylon to its peak. This mighty king, whose name echoes through the annals of history and scripture, wielded his power to expand Babylon beyond its original boundaries. Nebuchadnezzar is best remembered for his significant contributions to the city's grandeur, the most famous of which are the Hanging Gardens, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. These gardens, a testament to the king's ambition and the city's architectural prowess, were said to be a sight to behold, a verdant paradise rising amidst the desert. But Nebuchadnezzar's reign was not just about material accomplishments. His rule is also vividly recorded in the biblical accounts, particularly in the book of Daniel. This book tells us about Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a great statue, a dream that deeply troubled the king. It was Daniel, a captive from Judah, who provided the interpretation. The dream, as Daniel explained, foretold the rise and fall of empires, including Babylon's own downfall. Another intriguing account is Nebuchadnezzar's transformation into a beast. The book of Daniel describes how pride led to Nebuchadnezzar's downfall. He boasted about his achievements, failing to acknowledge that it was God who gave him his kingdom. As punishment, he was driven away from people and lived like a beast for seven years until he acknowledged God's sovereignty. These biblical accounts show us a complex picture of Nebuchadnezzar. He was a king of great ambition and power who brought Babylon to its peak. But his story also serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked pride and the neglect of divine authority. Nebuchadnezzar, a king of great ambition and power, brought Babylon to its peak but also sowed the seeds of its downfall. In the midst of Babylon's glory, the seeds of its downfall were sown. What led to the fall of this great civilization? The answer lies within the pages of the Bible, specifically in the book of Daniel, which prophesied the fall of Babylon. The story unfurls with the Babylonian king Belshazzar, who organized a grand feast using the golden vessels pillaged from the Jerusalem temple. This act of desecration was a blatant defiance of God's sanctity. In the midst of the revelry, a mysterious hand appeared, writing on the palace wall. Daniel the prophet was summoned to interpret the writing, which he translated as Mene, Mene, Tekel, Uparsin. This cryptic message foretold the end of the Babylonian kingdom to be divided between the Medes and Persians. The prophecy was fulfilled that very night. While Belshazzar feasted, the Persian king Cyrus laid siege to the city. The mighty Babylon, oblivious in its decadence and pride, fell to the Persians almost without resistance. Babylon, once the epitome of man's ambition and pride, was reduced to ruins, never to regain its former glory. The fall of Babylon offers profound moral lessons. It stands as a testament to the transient nature of earthly power and glory. It underscores the folly of pride, defiance, and humility against the divine. 
Babylon's fall reminds us that no matter how high man may build his towers, how vast his empires, they are insignificant in the face of divine justice. Let's not forget the words of the prophet Isaiah, Babylon, the jewel of kingdoms, the pride and glory of the Babylonians, will be overthrown by God like Sodom and Gomorrah. This prophecy, like many others in the Bible, underscored the inevitability of Babylon's fate. The fall of Babylon serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of humility and defiance against God's will. It's a timeless lesson echoing through the ages, relevant even in our modern times. No matter the era, no matter the civilization, the laws of the divine remain unchanging. Babylon's fall serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the ultimate fate that befalls those who defy the divine order. From the ashes of Babylon, a new prophecy arises. Who is the Antichrist and what is his role in biblical prophecy? As we delve deeper into the biblical narrative, we encounter a figure that sparks intrigue and fear in equal measure, the Antichrist. This figure is often associated with the end times, a period of great tribulation before the final judgment. The Antichrist, as the term suggests, is a character who opposes Christ. He is depicted as a deceiver, one who will lead people astray from the true faith. Many biblical scholars see a link between the Antichrist and Babylon. Babylon, with its defiance of God and its ambition to reach the heavens, symbolizes rebellion against divine authority. The Antichrist embodies this spirit of defiance. Prophecies in the books of Daniel and Revelation often connect the Antichrist with Babylon. In the book of Daniel, the Antichrist is symbolized by a beast that rises from the sea, just as Babylon was a power that rose from the ancient world. In the book of Revelation, Babylon is referred to as a city that sits on seven hills, often interpreted as Rome, an empire noted for its persecution of Christians. This association paints the Antichrist as a figure of persecution and apostasy. The Antichrist's reign, according to prophecy, will be a period of great tribulation. He will deceive many, leading them away from the faith. But this reign will not last. The prophecies assure us that the Antichrist, like Babylon, will fall. In the end, God's sovereignty will prevail. So, what does this mean for us today? It serves as a reminder of the constant struggle between good and evil, faith and deception. As we navigate our lives, we must remain vigilant, discerning truth from falsehood, just as the early Christians had to discern the true Messiah from the false prophets. The Antichrist a figure shrouded in mystery and prophecy, carries the legacy of Babylon into the end times. The story of Babylon and the Antichrist serves as a powerful metaphor for the spiritual battles we face, a testament to the enduring power of faith in the face of deception and tribulation. From ancient Babylon to a new world order, what does this mean in the grand scheme of biblical prophecy? The New World Order, a phrase that is echoed through centuries, is a concept often shrouded in mystery and intrigue. It's a term that suggests a future global government, a unified authority that holds sway over the earth, a concept not unlike the ancient empire of Babylon. Babylon under Nimrod and Nebuchadnezzar was a civilization that sought to unify the world under one rule, one language, one religion. This ambition was an affront to God, leading to the confusion of languages and dispersion of people across the earth. The New World Order parallels this ancient narrative, proposing a unified world, a single government, a common language, and a unified belief system. This too could be seen as an affront to the divine design, a challenge to the sovereignty of God. But how does this tie into biblical prophecy? In the book of Revelation, the Apostle John speaks of a future world government under the control of the Antichrist a figure of deception and tyranny. This entity is often symbolized as a beast rising out of the sea with seven heads and ten horns representing global kingdoms and powers. In this prophecy, the Antichrist, much like Nimrod and Nebuchadnezzar, seeks to establish a unified world order, a global system of commerce, governance, and worship. This new world order, as prophesied, will challenge the sovereignty of God, just as Babylon did thousands of years ago. The New World Order therefore serves as a symbol, a warning of a future where humanity, driven by pride and ambition, seeks to usurp the divine order. It invites us to reflect on the lessons from Babylon, the consequences of challenging God, and the importance of maintaining faith in a world that constantly seeks to unify under human authority. The New World Order, a concept intertwined with prophecy and biblical history, invites us to reflect on the lessons of Babylon and the future that awaits humanity. From the rise of Babylon under Nimrod to the New World Order, 
we have journeyed through a narrative of ambition, pride, and prophecy. We began with Nimrod, a mighty hunter and a rebellious figure who sowed the seeds of defiance against God by building the Tower of Babel. His ambitious city building laid the groundwork for Babylon, a city that would come to symbolize human pride and rebellion. We then witnessed the zenith of Babylon under Nebuchadnezzar, a ruler whose reign represented the peak of Babylon's glory but also foreshadowed its downfall. The fall of Babylon, a once mighty empire, served as a stark reminder of the consequences of pride and defiance against God's will. We delved into the prophecies surrounding the Antichrist, a figure believed to bring about a false sense of peace and unity, mirroring the ungodly unity that Nimrod sought in Babel. Finally, we explored the concept of the New World Order, a prophesied global government that echoes the ambitions of Babylon and its rulers. As we ponder on these narratives, we are reminded of the enduring lessons from Babylon and the prophetic implications for our world today. This is the end of this video. We are a young channel, so please check the thumbs up and subscribe for more of our content. Thanks and may God bless you always.